Hi folks, welcome to Chief Clark Outdoors. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and boy it's warm out here. I just realized how hot this piece of metal is so I need to be careful here I'll burn myself. Anyhow I've got a couple of things uh, that I'm going to open up here and I'm not doing any fire today just doing this unboxing and this was sent to me by an awesome pal of mine, the M.I. Woodsman, John up in Michigan, sent me this, and I thought this was awfully nice of him. John, I appreciate this, buddy. And he sent me three stickers, and I hope you can see that okay. But he did that out of the goodness of his heart. I didn't ask him for them. He just sent them to me. And I thought that was, uh, that was really nice of him. So I appreciate that, John. Thank you so much. I will display these in a prominent place. And enjoy them. Now, I don't have a logo yet. And I don't have any stickers. So I can't send any out to anybody. But I do appreciate it. The other thing that I got, and I have not opened it yet, I'm gonna do that right now. Of course, I, I know what this is. I, I want a, a giveaway from uh, my pal, uh, Dominic Minichetti. I hope I said his right name right and I didn't butcher it. But, we're gonna see if we can get it open. And let's see. Got to figure out where to open it. Okay. Trying to figure out how to open this without cutting anything. I definitely don't want to do that. Okay, that's close enough right there. That'll work. Now, right off the bat, and I know what this is basically because I want a giveaway from uh, Dominic. And this is what I won, which it's really strange to me to win anything. I don't normally. As a matter of fact, I have entered so many giveaways in the past couple of years and never won nothing. I finally, I just quit. I don't, I don't even bother uh, entering giveaways because I figured I didn't stand a chance. And for some odd reason, I did this one, and I think that's kind of cool. Uh, and did one other one, too. So... I was really excited like a kid in a candy store. This is an awesome waxed canvas bag and I will enjoy using this. And we're gonna see what's in it. Little hooks, little jewelry clasp. I hope you can see that okay. Put that up before it gets too hot. Here is another little interesting looking little bag. And it has something in it. Oh, now that's cool. It looks like, a, it is a heart, but it looks like it's made from bone. Not sure if that's what it is, but that's what it looks like is bone. I really like that. That is so slick. Dominic, you're pretty awesome, buddy. I appreciate that. Here is something that is absolutely awesome. It is a, a necklace with a steel striker on it. Now that is cool. I really like that. I really like that. I'll have to do a video and use this striker.
Here is a small ferro rod and striker on a little chain. How awesome is that? You'd be surprised. This little thing right here, although it's not very big, if you get stranded out somewhere and this is all you got, it could save your life. That's awesome. I really like that. Might as well show this while it's out here. But Dom made this special case for it, hand stitched. It's a little all sharp. He made this himself. Made the handle, glued it in. Excellent job, brother. I appreciate that. That'll see some use. All this stuff will see some use. Let's see what else is in here. Here is another waxed canvas. And it's just a piece of waxed canvas cloth, which I can think of a whole bunch of different uses for this. And it will get used. I happen to be not only into bushcraft, but I also do metal detecting. And this thing would be awesome if I was gonna dig a hole, I could lay this down, put my knee on it, and keep from messing my pants up real bad. This, there's a lot of different uses for this. And I, I like it. I think there's something else in here too. Okay, here's a little flip top can and sounds like there's something in it oh my goodness it's got chert and char cloth in it I hope you can see that put my hand under it in case I drop it I don't want to lose none of it isn't that awesome my goodness a little flint and steel kit that is totally awesome. I really like that. And I think there's still more in here. That's an awful lot of stuff in one bag. All right, this is a soda opener, bottle opener, which of course, as you can see is I don't know if that's brass or what it is, but man, that sure is a good looking rascal. I like that. I like that. That'll see some use too. I've got my favorite soda pops that I like, and this will be real handy for opening them. So, an awful lot of goodies here, folks. I, I am so thoroughly impressed, I don't know what to say. Dominic, thank you, my friend, my brother. I appreciate it. I will enjoy and use every bit of this. I promise. So, folks, if you're not familiar with uh, Dominic's channel, I'm going to leave a link to it down in the description. Dominic Minichetti, and I hope I'm saying his, his name right. He's an awesome guy. He's got a great channel. He's really really handy about making stuff he's he's a plum artist as you can see he made all this stuff so i'll leave a description or the link in the description for his channel please go check check him out tell him chief kirk outdoors sent you thank you for joining me on this um like i said i'm a, I, like a kid in a candy store and i've really enjoyed this so much so much Till next time, God bless you. Don't forget to tell somebody you love them because tomorrow they may not be here. Thank you so much.